Hello, dear friends. Plasma is a ionized gas with electrically charged particles and without electromagnetic bands. Opinion piece. Plasma bubble over the Great Pyramid. The observation coincided with the solar storm. Detected for the first time with the Chinese radar. The sun is doing something white it shouldn't be doing. September is eclipse season and cosmic energy increases. Scientists create a growth stimulant that multiplies crops. crops. Let's start. China has detected for the first time a large plasma bubble over the Great Pyramid of Giza using a radar called LARIT or LARIT, a new technology for atmospheric observation thousands of kilometers away. Simultaneously, the team discovered another similar bubble in the opposite hemisphere, in the Midway Islands in the Pacific, a 6.2 square kilometer atoll in the northwest of the Haitian archipelago. The observation coincided with the solar storm. Plasma bubbles are low-density areas of charged particles in the ionosphere. They form when a large number of electrons disappear from a region of the upper atmosphere. This creates a kind of low-density bubble of charged particles that can reach hundreds of kilometers in diameter. These bubbles can affect critical navigation and telecommunication systems and cause interruptions in GPS positioning devices and satellite communications. This is a large long-range ra radar located on Hainan, Hainan Island in southern China, which can observe irregularities in the ionosphere thousands of kilometers away. The LARIT operates with two sets of antennas, one facing east and one facing west, and operates in a frequency range between 8 and 22 megahertz. This radar cannot detect military targets, such as aircraft or ships. The electromagnetic waves on these radars are too long to be absorbed by a stealth-coded aircraft, but the technology used in the LARIT is similar to that used in other Chinese military radar systems that have managed to detect stealth, stealth aircraft such as the F-22 Raptor. The sun is strange. The sun is doing something it shouldn't be doing, and that could mean anomalies in the coming months according to Michael Snyder. The giant fireball around which our planet revolves has been much more active this year than scientists originally expected, and that could have very important implications for the coming months. Fluctuating solar activity affects the weather far more than anything else, and there also tends to be more earthquakes when solar activity is elevated. The current solar cycle is supposed to peak at some point during the next 12 months, but so far there are no signs of solar activity slowing down. In fact, the number of sunspots we witnessed last August was the highest since March 2001 with 215 spots. The total for July was 196. Scientists projected that we would see about half as many sunspots during the month of August indicating that solar maximum was imminent and could be more active than expected with solar flares and coronal mass ejections. The number of sunspots has been increasing at an exponential rate over the past few months, and we could see more severe geomagnetic storms like the ones we saw in May 2024 when Earth experienced is its strongest geomagnetic storm in over 20 years, with auroras visible much farther south than usual, including regions as far away 
as Florida and Mexico. Effects. When a very large geomagnetic storm occurs, it can disrupt our lives in many ways. In May, even agricultural machinery was affected. Of course, if our planet were to be hit by a large enough storm, it, it could damage power grids, knock out the internet, and cause social problems around the world. Let's hope there is no repeat of such a scenario anytime soon. All the solar activity we have been witnessing is also the main reason it's been so hot this summer. Scientists has conf have confirmed that the summer broke global heat records for the second year in a row, putting 2024 firmly on track to be the hottest year in recorded history. Summer in the Northern Hemisphere has been the hottest in the world since records began in 1940. 40, 1940. And there tends to be a lot of seismic activity when solar activity is very high. Meanwhile, the skies are becoming increasingly active. For example, a giant space rock the size of two football fields will fly past, will fly past our planet on September 15th. The good news is that it poses no threat to Earth. Opinion. Puffness said, we believed that the unrest and crisis that is taking place portends, portends better days ahead. We don't see funds being dispersed yet, but we do see holding and restriction of funds being reduced as trustees are being replaced. The, sec the secrecy and idea of ownership that has kept them in suspense for so long is awakening, but the final day can only come when those funds can be released into the hands of all, not just a few. The idea of Gisera is being floated and there are efforts to make it a, reali a reality. We'll see. We know the obstacles that need to be overcome to achieve this, so everything is still in the works, as we have said so many times. You have all been true guardians of this whole saga for a long time. Be that as it may, we can assure you that it would not have come this far if this were not real. It is the end game that keeps everyone standing. Curious. The IMF supports the expansion of the BRICS. The spokesperson of the organization recalled that the determination to join such initiatives is a sovereign decision of each country. Political theater distracts the masses while the anti-human empire burns, according to Mike Adams. Nobody, nobody asked why Almost a hundred nations are adopting the BRICS currencies and will abandon the dollar from 2024. We must report on the light and the shadows because it is necessary to know the current events, but we must avoid decreeing in the negative when reporting on the darkness as other channels do, as explained by Dr. Maria Dolores Obiols. The Atlas Comet is coming, the phenomenon that experts call the Comet of the Century, and it can be seen with the naked eye from the end of September to mid-October. Quantum Mind Attention modifies reality. If you focus on a problem, you enlarge it. If you focus on the solution, you reduce it. If you focus on any reality, you create it. Consciousness operate at a distance without barriers of space or time. A new equation unites relativity and quantum physics. For the first time in history, we have an equation that connects quantum physics with Einstein's general relativity, allowing us to explain the physical phenomenon known to humanity. Created or scientists create a growth stimulant 
that multiplies crops. A group of Russian scientists developed an ecological plant growth stimulant that increases crops by 50% or more. The new product is suitable for greenhouse cultivation and do not only accelerate seed germination, but also strengthens the reticular system. Astronaut Edgar Mitchell publicly, publicly accepted the existence of visitors from the stars after supposedly being on the moon and accused the government of hiding the truth about the first contact with beings from other worlds. Immediately after his return from space, Mitchell left NASA and immersed himself into, in the study of UFOs, ancient history and human consciousness, according to Vicky Verma. Later, he explained that during his stay in space, he experienced an incomparable mystical experience and tried to find the answer to the question of what it was in ancient texts. Finally, he managed to find the term in Sanskrit to describe his experience, Shamadi. Hindus consider it a special state of enlightened and clear consciousness, and Buddhists consider it the last step on the path to Nirvana. In quotes, the experience in space was so powerful that when I returned to Earth, I began researching various publications to try to understand what had happened. I found nothing in the scientific literature, but I finally discovered it in the Sanskrit of ancient India. The descriptions of the Shamadi, Sabikalpa Shamadi, were exactly what I felt. It is described as seeing things in their separateness, but experiencing them viscerally as a unity, accompanied by ecstasy, Mitchell said. Messages. According to Kapamur, the light forces want to be seen without fear. The dark forces lurk behind our institutions in astral form and require human free will to affect us. Earth is protected from outside craft until the shift, so all current sightings are from the Federation. September is eclipse season and cosmic energy is increasing according to Samantha Ortilie. In September, we are there are powerful cosmic forces and important coded portals that help us expand and rise to new heights. By accessing this divine direction, we can receive motivation, clarity, direction, and energetic nudges that support our creative sovereignty and engage our inner willpower to take inspired action with our talents and gifts. Universal Poltos by Octavia Basile. Your energy field is evolving and adjusting to higher frequencies. Those who don't support their physical and subtle bodies may feel like they are being pushed up against an invisible barrier. Maintaining internal journey of mind and body and the spirit is essential. Your, your mind requires meditation and focus. Your body needs hydration and a light nourishing diet, and your spirit thrives on light. Stay connected to the higher realms and trust your intuition. Relax by Daniel Scranton. Relax and remember that the last part of you is taking care of many things for you. Relax and remember that everything you have asked for is on its way to you. Relax and know that you already are what you are becoming and relax and receive all that we have to offer you, which we know it's helpful and we know will propel you into this next phase of your journey with far more support and far more mo momentum that can that you can possibly imagine. It's time for you to know yourselves as your non-physical essence. Who are you according to Nemesis? 
you came into being when a quantity of energy gave rise to a separate individual intelligence, a consciousness, which eventually became you and your strange mother-in-law. You are energy in a temporary form called a human being. You are an avatar of the intelligence that this energy and life force, the unique consciousness, or if you prefer, nature. You are the result of nature, nurture, experiences and memories, which makes you neurotic enough to care what people think. The crazy voices in your head are the ghosts of your ancestors telling you what they want you to do, or what they think of you, and what they like and dislike, and to eat more anchovies, but not the pizza. Welcome to your nature. And that's all for today. Thanks a lot, dear friends.